Hey, it's Eleven Prince Forty Seven, and I know the viewers will like this one. This is the Thirty Nine Thirty K Intel i Seven Second Generation. This is going to be doing all the processing work in my new build. Um, it, it cost approximately seven hundred, I think. Yeah, so it's not exactly a low end, <laughs> low end type of processor. Now, if you're wondering what the hell's up with the dent in the box. Don't ask me because I have no idea. I got it like this when it was shipped. I guess they cared more about the processor than the box. Um, anyway, so this is unlocked so it can be overclocked to... It can be overclocked to whatever you can overclock it to without it being unstable. Um, here's a peak view of the processor. This is the top of the processor of course. And here is some spec information and some codes. Hold on one sec. Yep, that's the right way. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, i7 3930K, 3.2 gigahertz, gigahertz, um, 12 megabyte cache, LGA 2011, which is the new Intel platform, the X X79 platform, and um, it it requires 120 watts. Now I think it's time to unbox. If you just want a good look at the side, there you go, a good look at the side. Uh, yeah, let's take this beast of a processor out of the case, out of the box. Sorry. Okay, now the first thing you see when you unbox this is the first thing you'll probably see is your Intel sticker, because everyone loves their Intel sticker. You know, it's probably one of the most brightest stickers and the one that is most noticeable on a case, extreme gaming case. But here is a, I don't even know what this is. It's an inst it's installation instructions, three year limited warranty, Intel inside logo label, which I showed you before. Here you go. If you just wanted to reassure if what I said was legit. <laughs> But anyway, there's only the manual and the sticker and the processor, so they didn't make anything too fancy. I think the processor speaks for itself. So yeah, anyway, this is um, a pro uh, this is apparently a beast of a processor. It it was released back about I think about three weeks ago or something like that. I think about four or five now, and it's it's bigger than any other processor which Intel have made. It's got approximately, it doesn't have approximately, it's got for sure 2011 pins, which is sort of ironic because it's 2011 now. I don't know if they did that on purpose, but let's hope next year they don't bring out one with 2013, 2012. Oh yeah, the zombie apocalypse, 2012. <laughs> I thought we've already went through that, but we haven't, have we? Uh, yeah, so that's all I can say. If If you don't know how to open this panel, you flip it over and you push these two latches in. You two hear a click, and then it, it opens up and the processor comes out. So you, this processor is pretty heavy, pretty hefty as well. Now, just some installation instructions before I install this, just in case I forget and it crosses, it doesn't cross my mind. Uh, you gotta make sure not to get oil on top of the processor because that's where the that's where the coolant is gonna go. And if the coolant is uh, disturbed with your oils, it won't be able to it won't be able to perform at its peak. Now, the best way to take this out is from the edges, which is indented, so you can pull it out. I'm not gonna open the case now because I haven't grounded myself. But yeah. Before you start anything, make sure you ground yourself because that's a key vital thing to do. Yeah, because I've been told that not grounding yourself can be very fatal. So yeah, if you like this video, rate, comment, subscribe, favorite. Check out my Tumblr, which is in the link of, which is in the description of this video. And yeah, peace. See ya.